Hey guys, I'm here, yeah, back with another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. And today to take a look at a camera or several cameras that we can build our own CCTV system or we can have just one, for example, as this one that I've got right over here. And it has some interesting features, especially when we consider that we can power via a solar panel and basically it will give us unlimited energy to run this camera at a affordable price for those of you that are wondering hey Robert is that panel really expensive no it's not I will leave some links down below so that you guys can check the camera the panel and of course other solutions available on their website if you are looking for a kit they already have that if you're looking for a standalone solution or doing your own kit then they also have As you've seen by some images, I've been using two of these for the last four or five days and I just want to share my feedback with you guys. As usual, let's start with a very quick unboxing experience. Now, if we get this model right over here, which is the Argus PT, once we open the package, we'll find the camera Argus PT. Of course, we'll also find a quick user guide and some paperwork, a Wi-Fi antenna, which we can replace with a stronger one, some screws, a micro USB to USB cable for charging and also this uh, piece right over here which we will use to mount the camera to a wall or to a ceiling now before we move on one of the things that i would like to mention right over here is that this particular camera can be connected at least in three ways one of which is we can connect via micro usb cable to any adapter any power adapter like the ones that we use for our mobile phone so it's very easy we can connect it anywhere that we want the second way that we can use is to connect a power bank for example this uh, camera right over here has a built-in battery which if i'm not mistaken but i'll leave the link down below so that you guys can check out the specifications but if i recall it's 6500 milliampere so it will last for a long time and if we have a bigger power bank it will even do for a lot more so we are talking about weeks without having to worry especially because this particular camera is ready to work via motion sensor and not to work 24 7 but i will talk about that in just a few moments but to me the most interesting part is when i can connect this camera or any other camera that real link has and you can check their website that it's compatible with a solar panel and to be honest me I really love solar energy and everything that is green about the energy and this solution looks amazing especially if we are trying to look for a solution to put on a remote place where we will have endless energy of course we will be limited to the weather that we have but having in mind that it's winter and I did test out mine for the last few days raining and with clouds and sunshine sometimes it's more than enough to power one of these cameras charge the battery and make it work so no worries here all we need to think is one of these solutions and then of course we will need a connection to the internet so if we get a hotspot also battery powered we can connect them anywhere in the world without any issues and this is one of the most attractive things in my opinion of course for this kit actually not a kit it's sold separately and if we go with the solar panel it costs roughly about 22 25 euros or so inside the package we get a solar panel and we will also get a quick user guide which honestly in my opinion we don't need we will also get some screws and a wall mount for uh, the solar panel and that's about it now regarding setting up one of these cameras guys one of the things that i can say is that this is a plug and play device and it's very easy all we need to do is to download the app for our mobile phone it's available for ios and android and after that we just need to follow the instructions on our phone i don't know but i i would say that two three five minutes the most we will have everything ready and running without any issues at all it will give us some qr codes that we will 
uh, use on the camera itself so that recognizes and so on and so forth. So very easy, very easy to implement. Even someone that has never used it before, just download the app and that's about it. Now talking about the mobile app, as I said, it's very easy to use and it's very intuitive. I'll show you guys a few images on screen, but as you can see, we will have all the options that we need. We will have the settings, we want alarms and so on and so forth. If we want to see one or more cameras at a time, two cameras, for example, we will have all those options. Now, besides the mobile app, we will also have a desktop app available for Mac and for Windows as well. That will give us the same options, but in a different aspect. And of course, we will have more screen real estate to uh, check out the footage. So that will give us a different image. Now, in terms of image quality, one of the things that I would like to say is that it's 1080. So if we get a good network connection, great. In terms of angles, this camera right over here goes uh, roughly 360 degrees. It's not continuous, so we cannot go uh, moving around and around because it would mess up all the components inside, as you guys may understand that. But we will get all around to one of the sides, 180 degrees, and then 180 degrees on the other side. I don't remember the uh, down angle, but one of the things that I can show you is some images. It will capture all of the space that I've got on my back. So in terms of image quality and in terms of angles, it's a great camera to get a lot of view in case uh, we have a big area to cover. Now, one of the things that uh, this machine is built for, it's not built like other CCTV systems that we have seen for 24 seven. It's more built to trigger as a motion sensor. So there's not the option to record 24 seven. We only have the option to record uh, once it detects movement and it's very clear and it will give us a notification to our phone. It will send us an email if we want to as well but it will not record 24 7. We also have a option which is to record manually and that we can record for the time that we want. Now one more thing that I would like to mention is the cloud service. It's available for some countries unfortunately not on mine and the interesting thing is that uh, in terms of prices they have one which is free for one camera and then the other packages are not that expensive which is one of the things that it's great to see because other uh, brands that I've seen, the prices are quite expensive once we are talking about cloud services. And I can understand that because we are talking about video and heavy files, but nonetheless, this is a very positive thing on this brand, having a cloud service. The negative thing is that it's not available, at least in this moment, in my country. And if you ask me, hey Robert, would there be any improvements that you would suggest for this particular camera right over here. There's only one. I would like to see the option to record 24 seven if that would be possible, either by using the computer or using the mobile uh, phone storage. It doesn't matter, but I would like to see a implementation of the 24 seven if possible. And this would be the only thing. And guys, this is it. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. Hope that you guys found this kit very interesting. At least this option to have a solar power powering this device through unlimited time. And if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.